Hello everybody, my name is Shortline614 and welcome back to a brand new Europa Universalis 4 Let's Play. And this isn't going to be any old Let's Play. We're going to play as France. However, we're going to put a bit of a spin on it because we are not going to stay as France. Obviously, we're going to have to play France for about the first 80, 50 to 80 years or so. But we're eventually going to migrate. We're going to migrate over to this beautiful city down here named New Orleans. And we're going to become Louisiana. Now, I got this idea roughly about 30 minutes ago. And I'm like, I need to record that. I need to, I need to make that a series, even though it's currently 1046 on a school night. On Sunday night here in uh, the great Commonwealth of Virginia. However, that won't phase me. We're going to hop in as France, and we are going to go and form Louisiana. Now, I've never actually played uh, a full playthrough of France before. I have dabbled around with it a couple of times. The farthest I've gotten in with France is probably about 50 years. And, you know, I've played this game for long enough that I think, you know, France being one of the most powerful countries in Europe, you know, I can guide it through. Now, of course, as France, the first thing we're going to have to do is take out England, fight the Hundred Years' War, and, you know, get those sweet, sweet coastal provinces back. So we're going to build up our army a little bit. That's our force limit. We're going to set our rivals. England, I'm not going to set Lithuania as a rival because they're going to get gobbled up by Poland. So, um, Burgundy. Yeah, Burgundy is fine. And then Austria. And I think eventually we're going to have to... We're going to take back the coastal provinces and we're going to take out Brittany. I think that's what we need to get strong enough Navy to eventually go over and kick over Louisiana. Um, so I guess that's all we really need right now. We're currently allied with... We're currently allied with uh, Provence. Ostensibly against England. Um, it's actually the first time playing E4 on my new computer. I've had my computer for about four months now, three or four months now, and this is the first time I've been played E4. In a while, actually. I can't remember the last time I played this game. Royal Marriage? Sure. And, um, just to get a bit of that power projection up, you know, let's, let's go ahead and embargo our rivals of Burgundy. Who's allied with no one important. They're allied with Oldenburg. And then let's go ahead and embargo Austria. Now, for those seasoned French players, you're probably going to cringe, actively cringe at how the way I play this, but you have to remember this isn't a permanent. This is not a permanent. We're not going to play as France all the way through. An alliance with the Pope. Maybe later. Sorry, Pope. And then, I don't know, who can we get a big, strong alliance with? Can we get an alliance with Castile? They might help in the Hundred Years' War. Let's get an alliance with them, just for now. Eventually, that alliance is probably going to break. Oh yeah, I forget. Built Force Limit? I forget that, um, our coast down here. Um, the birth of a permanent tax system. Well, that's pretty nice, except for the local unrest. Oh, um, maybe we should have gotten that alliance with the Pope, because we have been excommunicated. Probably because Avignon, or something. I don't know. Historical French nonsense. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. Probably about 20 minutes or so. National decision available. Eh, let's not take that. Poland, of course, has gotten their PU over Lithuania. That's nothing new. Provence wants military access. Sure, Provence. Did I assign my generals? No, I did not. Actually, let's get these guys in place for when we go and try and beat up England. The Cardinal Minister. Clergy gains five influence... Sure, let's go with the prestige. I mean, we're excommunicated anyways. Well, no, my phone just dropped uh, off my chair. Brilliant way to start this out. Wave of a... Oh, yes, this is the event that we need. Wave of obscuritism. 
I don't want to lose that prestige. Draw national unrest. It's France. Everyone's angry. Surrender of Maine. In exchange for accepting the Treaty of Tours in 1444, the County of Maine was promised to France. In practice, this still hasn't come to pass. The English has repeatedly invaded the question, becoming increasingly clear that many in the English camp are arguing that the treaty shall not be honored. In one last attempt to force the question, Charles the Sixth has approached the county capital, Le Mans, himself, and demanded the surrender of the city. The local commander, however, sends no shines has shows no signs of intending to open the gates, despite having a strong not having a strong force enough to withstand an attack. Time to teach them how to war. And of course we are at war with England because you know it's the Hundred Years' War, and France and England kind of hated each other. Oh, Provence refused to accept. Oh no. Well, this Let's Play is already going... Hey, but Castile did pretty well. Castile entered. This Let's Play is already going off to an amazing start. Our one ally... We've been excommunicated, our one ally, and I dropped my phone. Which, y'all probably heard that, so... <laughs> uh... I will get better. Burgundy declared war on Provence. Well, I guess that's kind of good for us, I guess, because then we would have been drawn into war with Burgundy, and I really don't want that. Oh no, one of our... Our main guy died already. Okay. <laughs> this is... You know what? I'm not going to restart, because screw this. We're going to go in all the way. Charles de Valois... Up oh, Romans invasion. Up oh, just a march of Poland. Sometimes I can go to Hungary, which I find pretty interesting. Go ahead and siege out that fort. Where are the English? They're in Madrid. And Spain is in Morocco. Okay. Interesting. So yeah, now we just kind of wait for these sieges to get finished. Although Castile is coming to help us. Pretty nice of you, Castile. Of course, this alliance isn't going to last forever. Oh, our king is a babbling buffoon. Nice. Aquitaine has been sieged out. Siege of Lebrod, yes. We have... Gascony has been sieged out. And now let's go out and siege out the north. Papal states have... Well, Provence is just being eaten alive. I, uh, I take what I said back. Siege of Cain is over. I don't take French. Yeah, excuse me. Excuse me for my pronunciation. I can pronounce some French words. Kind of. And our other major general left us. That's pretty nice. And now we have this horrible guy. Um... Oh god, what about our heir? Is he a good general? Yeah, he's a decent general. Louis de Valois. Improvements in technology. Sure, 10 administrative power. The Burgundian succession crisis. Oh, the King of Burgundy died. Rightfully belongs to France. Oh, Spain. Spain decided to got that land. Huh. Well, I guess we can make these states now. Actually, that might be bad for us, because, you know, what about our alliance with Spain? Oh, the England, England has the War of the Roses. Nice. Renew war taxes, an army career. 15 army tradition, yes. Gotta keep that army tradition up. And now we just kind of sit back and wait. Um, actually, hold up. Add another map mode. Where's development? Development. What has more development? Aquitaine? Well, we're going to have to take back... I think we're going to take back Calais and Aquitaine. And then Maine, of course. Of course, we can just kind of sit and do nothing right now, because... I mean, England is going to get that low war. Actually, never mind. England has come to siege out our land. Um... Yeah, that ain't so good. Hold up. 
We're just gonna wait outside. We're gonna wait in Toulouse. And because... Okay. Oh, but they did siege out Toledo. Which is Madrid. Or La Mancha, Madrid. Declining power of the nobility? Oh, Madrid is here. I am blind. Where'd the English go? Oh. Well, let's, let's chase them down. Chase the English down. Oh, they're going into Savoie. Huh. Up. Oh, Spain sieged out Calais. Uh, I should have selected Calais. Ooh. We can get some land. See how long we can wait. If I find the English army, there's the English army. Actually, should I... I should wait for them to siege out Calais, and then, actually, it turns out they're not going to siege out Calais. They're going further into the Netherlands. Where are they going? Yay. Temples. Nice. And I'm immediately going to build one of those, because we need that sweet, sweet tax revenue. To fund our grand colonial adventures of Louisiana. Um... Damn it. There you are. There you are. Where are you going? Are they going back down to Castile? Oh, yeah, you are. Huh. Hold up. Armagnac. And then... You guys get into position and attack from both sides. And there's a river crossing, but overwhelming numbers. Bye-bye, England. And English pretender rebels have risen up. Um, I really don't want to fight those English pretender rebels. And we can take this back in another war. This is what I really want right now. Anyways, can I take some money? Aha, indeed I can. France is going to be very wealthy. There we go. So we have taken back Gascony and Provence. Who is Provence allied with? Nobody of importance. Well, oh, we need a new rival. Aragon. You're going to be my rival. Um, oh, I don't want to fight those English pretender rebels, so I'm just going to walk around. So there we go, guys. First war is over. I do gotta admit, it was pretty quick. 1449? Um... Who can we fight next? Well, I want to take out Brittany, but Brittany's allied with Aragon, and that's gonna be one hell of a war. So... I might not want to do that just yet. Castile wants military access? Sure, Castile. And actually, while we are here, just so in our next war they don't take that back, we're going to claim Brittany as well. Because these are all, we have a bunch of claims on there. Oh, we're losing money. We're just going to turn down our maintenance a little bit. We're still making a lot of money. And, um, build some more temples so we can get some of that sweet, sweet tax money. Uh, Prussian Confederation. It's pretty nice. And actually, I'm going to start... I'm going to send a spy network over to Brittany and then England as well. So we can claim Calais. Support the House of York. Hmm. We will not support any rebels. I don't really want to waste any resources right now. Well, actually, our force limit has increased. So, let's raise some more armies. Sure, uh, autonomy. And let's start exercising these guys. Need to get that army tradition up. 
Where's army tradition? I forget. 31, yes. And actually, let's bring these guys over here. Oh yeah, I forgot we had a royal marriage with Scotland. I guess we start with that. Um... Aragon in Utrecht. Depends on how... Like, the Pope is probably going to take that, and then that's probably going to go to somebody. I don't know who, though. Can we demand... 1451 is when our truce ends, and then we can threaten war for Anjou. Sure, let's, uh, let's speed up. Okay, here's our navy. Um, let's send you to protect trade in Bordeaux. And actually, what does our navy look like? Hmm. Well, for one thing, I think I'm going to build... I don't know, one more trade ship. And then one more of those. Okay, two more. And then we should get to our naval... F actually, no. We can build a few more trade ships, actually. Yeah, light ships. Okay, seven of those. Okay, and now we can get a claim on there, get a claim on that. And then, once our truce with these guys expires this month, I'm gonna go and threaten war for Anjou. Oh, they won't. They won't accept, damn it. Who are they at? They actually aren't allied with anybody. Hmm, quick war for Anjou? Um... Sure, why not? Okay, you stop exercising. You go down there. And... I mean, they're not allied with anybody. Up the Iberian Wedding, actually. That means... Ooh, we could go after Brittany. And get a new rival, who I'm probably going to select as, I don't know, the Mamluks. We could go after Brittany. Huh. National Epic? Ah, oh, yes. That event is good. That is a good event. Brittany has declared war on Provence. Well, little Brittany, you're out with Utrecht who's all the way up here, and who doesn't matter. Um... You know what? How much aggressive expansion do we have? I know I'm, like, reselecting all my other map modes. and eh, not much at all. Up, oh, Banged my mouse. Um... Actually, let's save... Actually, it's been... how long has it been? 15? 15, 20 minutes? I think we're going to wait the, the war with Brittany for the next episode. Anyways, um, thank you all for watching. Please, uh, like, subscribe, comment, tell me what you think, join the Discord server, and we will be back some other time with a second episode of Quebec to uh, France to, uh, to Quebec. France to Louisiana, not Quebec. Quebec is the other... French nation that you can form in Canada, but, but uh, people have already done that, so um, in the next episode we will uh, take out Brittany and hopefully we will begin to find out what's over here. Anyways, my name has been Shortline614 and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.